Yo, what's poppin' up? This hip hop official, you know, it's your boy Jones Capo. <laughs> Hold on, stand up. Now you can log on blogon.com or you can peep me on your iPhone. But I'm gone. You dig? <laughs> Yo, what's going on? We right here, Hip Hop Official. You're on the run with Shawnee Culture. New York Sick. Underground, everything is all good. We right here with the uh, living legend, making a legacy in the movement. Let the people know your name and all that good stuff, soldier. Uh, Jones, <laughs> we born to die. <laughs> ah. So I can hide just like I'm born to fly. Okay, now here's a thought. One more thought. Streets is a marriage that you can't divorce. Ew. Life is a bitch, but I think I fell in love. I love that bitch. So I treat the game just like I'm selling drugs. Drugs. Block is drugs. Well, what inspired that? Because it's just a good vibe, that song. It's starting to pick up a lot of momentum. One of the people that worked for me, uh, he has a lot of things going on. And he manages a couple people. He manages these video directors. So he was showing me some of the videos they done. And one of the videos they done was the Kid Cudi record. And I was like, yeah, rewind that. <laughs> I was just rewinding. I wanted to hear the record. The video was dope too. Stay at night, night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. And I ended up doing my own version of the record. I let them direct my own video to that mm. record. Mm. So that's how that went about. And shouts to Kid Cudi. The ironic thing, he worked in a store that was under Koch when I used to go there. I used to go to the little rock and roll store under Koch. So, you know, I saw opportunities happen, man. And, you know, now he's popping. <laughs> Better not shout, better not pout Try to stay wet in the midst of the drought Price is high, shit ain't coming down nope. My niggas upstate tell me shit that on down That's okay. Christmas time is 55 pounds yeah. He got a year in and gave my nigga a pound What's the new mixtape, Bad Santa, right? Yeah, shouts to Mike Epps, he hosted that for us How did uh, you and Mike Epps connect on this project? You reached out to him, y'all was just hanging out and said let's do this Like, how did that happen? A, a, mutual, a mutual business business relationship going on. I mean, so it, it end up connecting the two. Shouts to Mike Epps. Shouts to everybody on the West Side. What's poppin'? Shouts to Cat Williams. Holla at you. Yeah. And what was Christmas like for um Jim Jones growing up from small to now? Christmas always been good. Even the times they got bad, they was good. I mean, so, you know, I remember a lot of G.I. Joes, a lot of Transformers, a lot of Voltrons, <laughs> ColecoVisions. I remember Shelto's, I remember Pro Kids, Stan Smith's. You, know, you name it, I done it, we did it, we wore it, we saw it, we copped it, you did. What made you say, I'm gonna make all Christmas songs and put it I out? I mean, for the, the most part, I'm in the music business and you know, Christmas is one of the most lucrative times of the year. And, you know, like, coming up, like we know in all our life, my moms used to always be playing some type of Christmas music around that time. Christmas was around, and for some reason, there was always some slow jams playing, jingle bells or something in the background, some real festive music. And mm -hmm. it must sell somewhere now that me doing the due diligence as me being older and being in the music business, I want to jump in the Christmas game. So, you know, next year will probably be the same Christmas album that we put out in the stores, but we do it like everybody else did it. I mean, I mean, I need to go get that bad Santa because it is holiday season. You know what I mean? And Sharon is caring. You hear me, my Obama? Don't be like that. You dig?